Well, this is part two. Dreams. They're important to you and to me. When I was growing up, me and my brother, we were from a broken home. We bounced from one care place to the next. We didn't live with mum. YouTube, it hadn't been invented. The following had also not been invented. ERC20s didn't exist. Social media sites, they hadn't been invented either. Website builders like Canva.com, GoDaddy, etc. They didn't exist. NFTs hadn't been invented. Neither had consoles, PCs, handheld gaming, Web3, Quest 2, the Metaverse. They didn't exist. Yes, I have failed. No question. But I did not give up. I gave it my best shot. With help from nobody. These were just ideas. Ideas I wrote down on an A4 pad. As you can see, that's A4. And because nobody helped, well, I was trying to find my way around in pitch black. In one of my videos, I showed you a BTC mining, which was bloody loud. It used to really get me mum, get on her nerves. But I wanted to show it was possible. BTC mining and other ideas which you, the viewer, and the job centre, well, job centre laughed at it until I did an email and when I did the email I did it to the MP for Rushcliffe but I also did the email to the Department of Works and Pension Secretary Mel Stride because it needed help it wasn't the one man show sure. none of it was and that's the point you all believe in some super person who is able to crack the code I don't understand the code the reason why I don't understand the code is because as you're typing, it changes. And when I spoke to the job centre after the passing of my mum, they looked at me with glazed eyes. They didn't understand. They still don't understand. Even to this day, they still don't understand. I know this, I tried, and I'd rather try and fall on my arse than not try at all. 
I will not give up, even though many of you have given up on me. And the thing is this, at the end of the day, all I am is a kid from Benwell. And many of you know Benwell. It's not like Darris Hall, it's not like South Gosforth and places like that. Hell, it's a million miles away from us. See, all I wanted to do was to try and push ideas to see where the idea would go. And yeah, when my time is up, at least I can look back and say, I did try. So with my YouTube channel, what it was never ever about was hitting a million, two million, three million. No. It was never about that. It was about a Geordie kid who's now a man showing you what he wants to do to try and change our world. See, as I said in the video yesterday, Remembrance Day for all of those who went into battle to free France. Many of those 17, 18, some of them were 20. Some of them were a little bit, a little bit older than that and they were called Paps. But they never came home. And since that time, we have changed. We have evolved. We have mobile phones that can connect to the internet. The internet is growing and it is changing. Cryptocurrency is now available, even though cryptocurrency is being held back and being held back in a massive way. Why? Fear. Fear that cryptocurrency may overtake a foreign currency and it's foreign to us. Because the currency is the US dollar and they are scared shitless that cryptocurrency will overtake the likes of the Dow Jones, the Nasdaq. They're absolutely terrified of that. But you cannot stop innovation. You cannot stop somebody trying and that's my whole point the youtube channel when i first heard about it was okay i'll document what i intend to do and that's what i've done so if you like my video give me a thumbs up subscribe and spread the word all free and enjoy the rest of your Friday and the weekend. Thank you.